Hi, uh, Martin here. Thank you for joining me once again. Uh, a big apology to my subscribers. I'm really, really sorry I haven't posted a video for months. I think it was before Christmas. Um, and now we are in, towards the end of March. So I'm very, very sorry that I've not posted anything. Um, but as you may have seen, I've actually opened a shop here in Four Marks, Hampshire in the UK. And that's going quite well. You can see what's happening with that over at um, Martin's Bazaar. Find the tractor. Yeah, you can find out what's happening with um, the shop over at Martin's Bazaar um, YouTube channel or the website at www.martinsbazaar.co.uk. But for now, I'm going to show you how I turned this to this finished bowl. Let's take a look. Thankfully, it's fairly well domed, dome shaped anyway. So I'm going to have, I'm going to hold the face plate like this, put the piece on top, and find the centre of mass just by moving it around and checking the balance. That feels good. Turn that back. There we are. Eight screws in the face plate into the burr and now I need to load it onto the chuck. Fairly well balanced. Right. I've got the lathe set on, on its slowest speed so let's see how she spins. Hopefully it's not too wobbly. Not bad at all. Bring the tool rest over and check that it doesn't hit anywhere. <coughs> check that it doesn't hit anywhere when the piece is spinning. Now I'm going to start by just losing this this sharp corner here and just moving it. Nice bird piece. Yeah, it's going to look lovely. I think this piece. Now I don't normally wear gloves <coughs> when um, when turning. But when, um, when I've got a piece like this, um, I do like to uh, keep my fingers um, a little bit protected. Um, it's not absolutely advisable, so don't do as I do. Take your own safety precautions. I've got a face shield on, got a face shield on um, as well, and a nice sharp bowl gouge. Um, and just be very careful when turning something like this. Nice and rounded now. Um, there's still um, where is it? There's still a flat spot up here, but when I do the when I do the top of the bowl and the inside, that that will go. Um, so now I need to flatten the bottom to put uh, to be able to put to turn it round and get it into the chuck. And I can crank the speed up a little bit now as well. Um, 
it's feeling good, it's lovely and smooth, it's got a beautiful figure in it, this wood. Really, really gorgeous, I'm very pleased with it. Okay, right, let's do the bottom. I've set my compass to the correct radius for the uh, chuck for when I turn the bowl over. So I just need to make a mark as to where that's going to go. About there. The lathe is a little bit rattling. I don't know if you can see that very well. But there's a line there. And now I need to take a parting tool and dive in and leave a dovetail out that way so the chuck can grab it. I don't know if you can see that very well, um, but I've just added my my little mark in there, which is six um, small rings and two wider rings, um, which is dot 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 dash dash, uh, which is my initials in Morse code. Because this is because um, this has got still got a bit of a live edge um, to it, I'm going to hand sand it rather than use the um, the bowl sander. Um, so I'm going to start off with an 80 grit and then work my way down. <clears throat> and there, um, sanded down to 400 now. Um, I'm going to turn it over and mount it onto the chuck and then I'll finish the... Uh, I'll put a bit of oil on the bottom first actually um, with a 600 grit paper just for a bit of a final cut and to lubricate it so then that'll be sort of this part of the bowl finished and then I'll finish the top when it's flipped over into the chuck. I've reversed the bowl in the chuck now and it's nice and sturdy. I've given it a spin and I've checked that uh, none of it's going to hit the tool rest as I flatten off flatten off the front to begin the inside of the bowl. So extraction on again, spin it round and flatten off the front. There we go, the front is flat-ish. Now, um, I'm just having a look around. There's quite a lot of um, cracks and stuff um, in this burr, as you would expect. Um, so, and I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave a fairly thick wall because round the back here, there's quite a large um, part of the part of the bark that's actually going into the wood. So I'm going to leave quite a thick wall um, on the bowl and get down as deep as I can really being very very careful not to get catches on these uh, on these cracks and as I was flattening off the front I could feel it getting very hard and soft so I'm going to have to be very very careful
Um, I've nearly finished hogging out the the bowl. I've left a nice thick wall, um, and the figure on the inside of this bowl is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to do a little finishing cut, I think, um, and then chamfer in the edge of the bowl just a touch, um, and then scrape it out to finish. Done. I've got a nice thick wall going down to a nice um, chunky base and now it's looking good on the inside. I've got a nice chamfer going into the bowl there. It feels nice in the hands. I need, just need to sort out this little nubby bit but I'll do that in a minute. And now it's good for sanding. I've given it uh, I've given it a blow um, with a with a compressor um, to take out all the dust from the little cracks and the little fissures uh, in the burr. And now I'm going to give it another coat of oil and then a sanding sealer and then probably another coat of oil and then some lathe polish I think and then to finish and then I'll finish that off with some wax. Sanding seal has been on and then rubbed back. It's got quite a nice, quite a nice uh, shine to it now. So I need to get the lathe polish, give it a shake because it has a habit of settling. Give it a good shake. A little bit of a squirt on the towel, and then rub that in too. Right, the lathe polish has had a few minutes to dry off. Then I'm going to take some more towel and uh, just buff it up to see how it looks. step for this piece at least is to add a coat of wood wax 22 leave it to dry while I go and have some lunch and then come back and buff it and there we go it's done um, it's had the wax um, put on I left it for 40 minutes or so to dry and then I've come back and I've buffed it and here is the finished bowl. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.